Welcome to the ITU studio in Geneva. I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Eva Spina, who is the ITU Council Chair for 2017. Eva, thank you very much indeed for being with us in the studio today. Thank you to you. Now, I'd like to start off by asking you about Council 2017. What would you say is going to be the main focus? Uh, the Council is the governing body of the Union uh, in the period between the plenipotentiary conferences uh, and uh, now we are at the eve of the PP18 and an important moment of transition between uh, in which uh, we can make an assessment of the result achieved and also to shape the future activities and um, for this regard it's important the adoption of the draft biennial budget for the 2018 and 2019 and uh, because with this act we can uh, um, uh, allocate the resources to the strategical goals and objective of the Union and also for the operational plan of the next four years. Now in terms of the, the key areas, what do you think will be the key areas addressed by Council? This Council uh, have to deal with uh, uh, very important uh, issues. Uh, we can remember the uh, status of implementation of Connect 2020 uh, for a development uh, um, agenda and uh, uh, also we can prepare the uh, conference, the next uh, 18 uh, company, potential conference and then uh, the um, uh, World Telecommunication Development Conference that will be uh, held later this year in uh, Buenos Aires and then uh, as uh, like uh, each year we have uh, the work of the council group working council group and also the expert group of the ITRs uh, that are all important and wh why do you think that it's important for council member states to take an active part in council? Uh, this is an important thing because uh, the participation of uh, s member states is important, at least for two reasons. Because uh, uh, the first, the 48 councillors have the, draft, the, the task to uh, participate uh, and uh, to represent the, um, all the member states to elect them. And then uh, um, uh, it's important also to decide together and uh, to share the key issues and also to share the uh, key and the, the, the path made together and also the solution achieved. In terms of the role of information and communication technologies, ICTs are now recognized as important to the realization of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. How is ITU promoting ICTs for the achievement of the SDGs? Uh, ITU is the United Nations Agency for ICT and uh, for this reason it uh, plays an ro important role in uh, the application of the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development and uh, very, mm, a very great number of activities have, made, uh, have been uh, established about this and uh, we can uh, remember also the campaign, uh, the communication campaign ICT for SDG uh, that is uh, a, a campaign oriented to the stakeholder and to highlight and the, mm, the, the important role of ICT uh, a link to, to SDG and then there are many other activities for the three sectors and also to, uh, of the Secretariat to uh, leverage the ICT role uh, in uh, the SDG achievement. Uh, well Eva, thank you very much for being with us in the studio today and I wish you all the very best for Council this year. Thank you, thank you very much.